everybody so this is going to be my March 2013 beauty favorites and can I first start off by saying how freaking beautiful it is outside I live um, close to Vancouver BC in Canada and this weekend has been just gorgeous right now it's currently 22 degrees outside that's Celsius obviously and I'm wearing a tank top and shorts and I've been outside most of the day and I have gotten some color can't see if you can really see it in the camera here but it's just gorgeous and I know it's probably just a little blip and we're gonna go back to our typical colder weather and rain but um, I'm definitely taking advantage of this weekend it's just so awesome and it makes me so excited about summer so yeah I think I'll just jump into my beauty favorites I have them all laid out here like makeup stuff and skincare and hair stuff and yeah I'll just get started I think I'm gonna start with blush because I have been really into blush this month, just finding a whole bunch of new favorites. So at the start of the month, my favorite blush was from Physicians Formula, and I've had this blush for a really long time. It's a powder palette, multicolored blush in Blushing Rose, and it looks like this. And I just liked it because it gave me quite a bit more color than I was wearing. I was wearing Tickled Pink for like most of the winter. I'll try and swatch it for you. I don't know if it's going to show up very well. Yeah, I was wearing tickled pink for most of the winter, and I just felt like I wanted more color, and this color just suits me really, really well. There's the color there. Um, it's pretty matte as well, which I like, so I was wearing that probably like the beginning of March, and then I jumped into my NYX Pinched Blush, because this reminds me so much of spring, and it's just such a pretty color. It looks like that. And I haven't really used this like all fall or winter, but I was wearing it so much last summer. Where should I swatch this for you? I'll do it over here so you can see the difference. Um, but yeah, I'm just getting more into spring stuff. There it is there. I don't know how well it's going to show up, but it's such a gorgeous color. And then I have a third one because seriously, I just couldn't decide. This one's a newer purchase to me, but and I'm wearing it today. But I love it, and it's from Milani, and it's Coralina. That's the name there and it looks like this. How gorgeous is that? I freaking love that color. I'm wearing it right now. Um, I'll do a swatch. This has quite a bit of sparkle in it, so if you're not a fan of sparkle, you're not gonna like this, but I absolutely love it. Ugh, awkward hand angle. There it is there. It's not showing up as well on camera as it does on my hand, but Look how beautiful that is, especially for spring and summer. I think I'm going to be wearing this quite a bit. And then for a highlighter, um, I've recently been using, it's actually a blush, and if you watch one of my Get Ready With Me videos, I think, or a tutorial, I don't know, I used it as a highlighter and it worked really well, and it's from Hard Candy. It's called Honeymoon. It looks like this, but it doesn't look like that on your face. It shows up just as a pretty highlight, with a little bit of a pink undertone. Um, I'm trying to swatch it for you. Here it is, right here, just kind of a pinky glow. So I just thought that was really, really gorgeous, and I've been wearing that a lot, so I thought I would mention that. Um, and this is going to be in no particular order. Now I blush all over me. This is going to be in no particular order because I didn't put it in order, so here we go. Okay, I've been loving my Beauty Blender. I have been using this almost every time I do my makeup. Um, it just makes everything blend in so well, so easy, flawless. It makes it just kind of seep into your skin, so loving my Beauty Blender. I got a new eyelash curler because I was using an e.l.f. eyelash curler, a really old one. And I don't know if it was because it was old or just because it's the brand e.l.f. and it's not that good quality, but it started to pull out my eyelashes. So I was like, oh, I can't use this anymore. There's no point if it's going to pull out my eyelashes. So I got this one. It's from Revlon. Um, I went to the drugstore and I actually looked at quite a few of them because I need one that's really, really long, like really a wide eyelash curler so it can get all my eyelashes. Because I have pretty big eyes, so not all eyelashes can go from one side to the other. And I don't want to have to kind of do it in parts, if you know what I mean. This one works really well and it does not pull out my eyelashes, so that's good. And it was pretty inexpensive. Um, a concealer that I have been absolutely loving the past couple of months, I don't know why I didn't mention it last month, but it's the CoverGirl and Olay Concealer. It's actually called a Concealer Balm, and it looks like this, just a stick format. But the reason I love this is because it, it is creamy like a balm. Like some sticks, they, they kind of don't blend well, and they are hard, I don't know, they just kind of like stick to dry patches on your face or whatever, but this... 
do it in front of you. See how creamy that is? And then just blends right in. So it's kind of like a liquid concealer in that aspect, but it's got more coverage because it's a stick, but it blends really well. I can use it under my eyes or on blemishes, around my nose, things like that. I'm using it all the time and I would highly recommend it. Um, what else? Okay, lip balms. I got this one lip, glom, lip balm in a glossy box. It is the Nivea lip balm, and I was like, oh, it looks pretty plain, whatever. Okay, I used it right up. It is, that's rolled all the way up, and I tried to dig it out a little bit because I loved it that much. It is so darn creamy and moisturizing. It just feels like butter on your lips. I absolutely love it. So I loved it so much, I had to pick up another one. This one is the Milk and Honey one, and I almost feel like the original is better, but I thought, why not try a flavored one? They have a whole bunch of flavors. Really inexpensive. I still really do like it, but I feel like the original is a little bit more creamy. So, I don't know. I like them both. Um, what tell you next? A mascara that I've gone back to is the Maybelline XXL Pro Extensions. I've been using it all this month, and I love it. I heard that it's um, being discontinued. There's the white end and a black end, and I'm really sad about that because it does wonders for my lashes. It does take longer than normal mascara, so I have to do more coats of the white and the black, but it really lengthens, separates, and you can build upon it, so it's a great mascara. If you see any, I would definitely pick them up um, before they're all gone, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go look for some. Okay, is this my only eyeshadow this month? Weird. I feel like I've been... I don't know, but I guess this is my number one favorite. I'm sure there's more eyeshadows, but this is the one I gravitated towards. It's a newer purchase, too. It's from the company Pixie Lid Lash Shadow Pen, and the color is Peach Pave, and it is a gorgeous peach. As I told you, I'm really getting into more spring light colors, um, and this is just gorgeous. Blends out really well, doesn't crease, um, it's beautiful. The only thing... I don't know if it's supposed to twist up because I'm twisting it as hard as I can. It doesn't push up. I don't know if that's all the product that you get. As you can see, I've used it. Well, my daughter's waking up. One second. Okay, uh, daddy went to get her. I don't know if that's all the product you get, but if it is, then that's totally not worth it. I got this off Hot Look um, with a purchase of some other stuff, and it was pretty inexpensive, but if you buy it full price, I think it's well over $10. So if that's all the product you get, that's pretty lame. If you have a pixie eyeshadow pen, let me know how I twist it up, or if it does or if it doesn't, I'd love to know. Okay, I have been loving this. This is the Revlon Just Bit and Kissable. However, and I've talked about these, I decided to go for a darker color. I wanted to see if it really would stain my lips, because the lighter colors don't really do that. This is the color... Um, love stick, I think. Yes. No. Love sick. And this is way darker than I thought it would be. I think this is actually going to be a really good color for next, like fall and winter. Um, but sometimes I can just put it on lightly, and it it does okay in the spring. I'll swatch it for you. But it absolutely stains your lips. It stains your hand too. This swatch is going to be on my hand. See how dark that is? It's going to stay on my hand for a long time. But the darker colors, it's true. They last so long. They're very pigmented, and I'm really happy with it. So happy that I just picked up a slightly lighter version. This one's in Sweetheart, and that's the color there. Um, and I haven't even opened the packaging yet. Maybe I'll do that for you if it doesn't take me forever here. Come on, come on. Really, really excited about this because I think this will be more of a wearable color. There we go. There's the color there. I'll swatch it beside. And see how it's more of a light, lighter shade of pink? So I think that'll be good for this spring. And I hope it lasts as long as the Love Sick color does. Okay, moving on, another lip product that I've been loving, it's more spring-like, is from the new Vivids line from Maybelline. This is the packaging here, super hot red kind of packaging, and that's the color there. So bright. I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now. You can see. But I've d I just kind of dabbed it and then rubbed my lips together because if I wore this full out, it's, it's rather overpowering. I'll swatch it beside all the other colors. Um, but it's just a fun color to play around with. Here it is right here for the spring. So they all quite look pretty similar actually. 
That's funny, this this Revlon one is quite similar to that one there. But this one's more um, intense for sure and brighter, so. Loving that. And then, what else do I have? Skincare wise, the night cream I've been using the past month is from Aveeno. And um, I like it. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it is on the cheaper end. Like I got it on sale at Shoppers Drug Mart and it was pretty darn cheap. So for a cheaper night cream, I really do like it. Aveeno pos Positively Ageless Night Cream. Looks like this. I don't remember if it has a scent. That's not supposed to be on there. Yeah, it's got a very light floral type scent. And that's what it looks like there. Feels really good on this skin. So I thought I would mention that. And for hair products, this I got in a glossy box too. It's the Macadamia Natural Oil Healing Oil Treatment. It looks like this. And it's like, if you're familiar with argan oil, it's the same kind of thing, but it's a macadamia oil. Not that you're going to be able to see it, but you just pour a little bit on your hands, rub it together, and rub it through your hair. I think you can do it wet or dry. I usually do it when my hair is wet and I come out of the shower, and I just stick to the ends of my hair. Um, I love it. It smells freaking amazing. It's really hydrating for your hair, but I have really thin hair and not a lot of it, so I can't use it very often. I probably use it maybe once a week because it would weigh down my hair too much. But if you have thick, like, thick, tangly type hair, I think this product would be amazing for you. So I wanted to mention that. Very, very hydrating. Smells amazing. Another kind of skincare thing that I've been loving, and this reminds me of being back in high school, but it's the Biore Deep Cleansing Pore Strip. I used to use these all the time in high school. But these things are freaking amazing. They are so rewarding. When I just want to feel that extra clean, like I'm getting into those pores, I'll put one on my nose or my chin. It's usually where I get blackheads. You let it dry, and then you peel the thing off. And I love seeing what came out of my skin. I know, it might sound gross, but it's just a very rewarding feeling. And I'm so glad I picked up a pack because I love doing it. I even put one on my husband. I was like, hey. Are you interested in seeing what comes out of your nose? <laughs> like, not out of your nose, but out of your nose pores, and he agreed to it, and uh, we both looked at each other's, and it was, it was a good time. That might sound weird, but it was a good time. And then, the last thing is I just thought I'd show you some jewelry that I've been loving this March, and this is one here, and I think I actually got this in Mexico. I'll bring it in. But it's just like a white, kind of clear, shells or stones I guess and this stone down here but it just goes well with really any color and it's just very pretty. Another necklace I picked up, I think I got this at Ardeen's or Claire's, really inexpensive but it's this flower necklace, kind of a blue black color with these little beads. Loving that. Looks like that when you put it on. I like all things flower. As you can see I have a flower ring on and then these bracelets I have been loving as well and they're in black kind of bobble beads and then sequiny beads are two separate bracelets but they're the type that you just put on and then pull the string to tighten them around your wrist and I just like layering them up I just think they look really really cute so yeah did I get everything I think I did I think that's it for my beauty favorites I'll leave a link down below for my mom favorites not sure which one's going up first but yeah thank you so much for watching bye